second round of the Arnold Palmer Invitational and PGA Tour.com live featured group coverage from Bay Hill. What a group it was. Three of the top 11 players in the world, including world number one, Rory McIlroy. He's never played here before at Bay Hill. First appearance, began his day with a birdie 10. This at the second hole, Rory four under at this point. And this is when he kind of caught fire in his round. A birdie there at two, and then at the par four third. Dazzling second shot here. That would produce a birdie. He would also make one at the third, and then here at the fourth. So that was three in a row. Then over at number five. Now this was the best approach shot of the day. 147 yards, a wedge for Rory, he nearly stuffed it. So he would birdie the fifth, and then he would birdie the sixth on the way to a round of 66. And Rory surges up the leaderboard. He's positioned at eight under as the weekend begins. Five off the lead. Jason Day, winner at Torrey Pines, the Farmers Insurance Open earlier this year. Third shot, par five, 12. Awkward yardage, about 45 yards. Little kiss off the flag stick there. And it led to a birdie. At 15, he was a little out of position, but managed to save par from about 15 feet there to keep the momentum of his round going. And then at 16, just an iron in hand for his second into this par five. And he absolutely blistered it. That would set up an eagle chance. Day would not convert, but he would two putt for birdie. Par five, sixth. Caught a break when his tee shot covered the water. Looked like it was headed for trouble, and he capitalized on the opening. Another gorgeous shot, another eagle chance, which he would not convert, but he did make birdie. Day shot 71, he's at minus four. Ricky Fowler, first approach shot of the day. At number 10, straight into the early morning sun. This group was off at 8-11 Eastern time on Friday. That set up an opening birdie for Ricky, who also made one over at 12. And it was a hot start. He birdied three of his first four holes and four of his first seven, in fact. Really had it going and then cooled off. Didn't make one the rest of the day. En route to a round of 71. So Fowler makes it to the weekend at minus two. We brought you featured holes coverage in the afternoon, 13 and 17 at Bay Hill. Kevin Streelman took it deep down the left-hand side, the short par four, and capitalized. Streelman rallies with a 67 to make the cut. Carlos Ortiz, three-time winner on the Web.com Tour last season. Talented young player from Mexico, and he struck a beautiful shot in the 13, which produced a birdie. George McNeil, very steady player, a very steady showing this week. Back-to-back -back rounds of 69. And a birdie at 13. And McNeil's at six under par. Zach Blair, rookie on the PGA Tour. Four under par when he played his second into 13. Very nice. Very nice very indeed. Nice. One of the best of the day. 17th hole at Bay Hill. Measured 197 yards during the second round. David Lingberg, one of his birdies that produced a 67 as the young Swede moved to eight under par after two days. Jason Kokrak, glad to be back here. This was the site of his top five finish a year ago. And the big man launched one sky high and dropped it right next to the flag stick. And Kokrak is at six under at the halfway mark. Henrik Stenson finished with a flourish. Birdies over his final four holes to shoot 30 on the back nine. Signed for 66 and moved to 10 under. And he's only three shots off the lead. And one of the final players to come through in our coverage on Friday was Camilo Vajegas.
who gave us this. 72 for the Colombian. He'll be in the field on Saturday. We'll have feature group coverage on day three from the Arnold Palmer Invitational.